The other day I was setting up some code for some casual data mining, when I thought I need a simple method for instantiating objects allowing the creation of objects without specifying the exact class of object that is going to be created. That sounds like a perfect use case for the factory design pattern. If you need a refresher, check out my video on it. The code will work like this. You enter a service name and then you enter a user ID and it will return the API's information. So let's build that into a factory implementation. First, let's do some imports. ABC, this is Python's standard library module for abstract base classes. The capital ABC is the abstract base class itself, which can be used as the base class for defining abstract methods. The abstract method is a decorator to indicate abstract methods. A decorator allows you to add new functionality to existing objects without modifying its structure. And the request library is to call the APIs. Now let's make the interface for all the concrete implementations of the APIs. Next, let's make the concrete implementations for each of the APIs we can call. Let's include some error handling and some authentication. For this example, I will not be using the Twitter API because Nerdlord Elon made API requests very expensive now. If you can manage to get an API endpoint, use it. After that, let's create the factory class to instantiate the correct API integration class based on the service name. Finally, a small definition to get the user input and call the classes, and of course, the working code. Let's look at an example. Once you call the concrete class, you input the user ID, and in this case it's Bill Gates, and a flurry of JSON information pops out. And there you have it, a real-time, scalable example of the factory design pattern.